Hi, my name is Andy Osborne, founder of Maximum Health, and today I'm going to do your second video of your abdominal workout. In this video, what I'd like to do is focus on the actual exercises, but more so the technique on how to do those exercises correctly. Um, I know there's a lot of you out there, lots of different levels, so I want to try and show you the easier levels and the harder levels so you can choose and find out exactly where you fit in and then progress through the stages. Now we're going to start off with your lower abdominals in conjunction with your deep abdominals as all your abdominal exercises need to be done with your deep abdominals. We're going to start off with the pelvic tilts. First of all, lying down on your back. Check that your posture is correct. Your hip bones, either side, and your pubic bone here in the center, those three points make a triangle. They should be parallel to the floor. That gets your pelvis in its neutral position. Your lower back, that should also be in neutral. Enough space under the back to wedge one of your hands just under the small of the back. Root case should be down. Arms down by your side, lengthen the arms out, sliding the shoulders down from the ears, and tuck your chin slightly lengthening out the back of the neck. This is your starting position. Take a breath in to prepare normal breath so your tummy rises up. Breathe out and as you draw down through your belly button, you pull up through the pelvic floor and tilt the pelvis to flatten the back off into the mat. Relax and come back to neutral. So breathe out as you tilt. Breathe in as you relax back to neutral. Now this pelvic tilt should be done and controlled by your abdominals and don't push through the legs. Once you've mastered your pelvic tilt, you can go to the next stage. Bring the legs up. Relax your heels towards your bum and have your knees directly above your hips. Again, adjust your pelvis into its neutral position. Lengthen that through your arms. It's exactly the same movement. Draw down through the tummy. Tilt the pelvis. The movement is under control. Breathe out as you tilt. Breathe in as you relax. You should notice my tummy should sink down as I do the movement. When you do this exercise, make sure that you're not pushing through the arms and jerking to get yourself up through the movements. It may help to take your arms up and over the head, hold on to something for a little bit of support and do the same exercise. Once you've mastered your pelvic tilt, you can move on to the actual reverse curl. It starts with the pelvic tilt, and as you continue, you curl it a little bit further. If you just watch my shoulders, when you're doing the reverse curl, you mustn't shrug your shoulders and let your head drop back. Keep the shoulders locked down, keep your chin slightly tucked in, tilt, your upper body should stay virtually still. Breathing out as you tilt, breathing in as you relax. Making sure you're focusing on drawing down to your deep abdominals as you do the movement. Now there's quite a few lower abdominal exercises you can do. You can take this exercise onto a ball, you can use a decline bench, you can use um, hanging knee raises. There's quite a few exercises you can do, but I'm just going to stay with those, the basics, Master the basics and then you can move on to the more harder intensive exercises.